Good morning, it's the 6th of April uh, 2024, 7.30 in the morning, just down here on Undercliff Drive. So Chiff Chaff singing away. What a glorious morning. I thought I'd just walk along here initially, see if I can uh, pick up some of the bird song. This is very quiet, this uh, road now, that there's no traffic flow on it, which is uh, which is great from a point of view of walking up and down here. So I used to cycle up and down here when I was younger, um, heading for St. Catherine's Point and Knight, and I'm kind of walking west now in that kind of general direction. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much in this little video because uh, I'm really here to record the bird song. So hopefully it's not too breezy here because it's nice and sheltered. So Robin. So I can hear black caps, robins, blackbirds. Great tits, wrens, dunnock, chiff chaff, carrion crow, rook. A couple of wood pigeons on the road ahead of us. So yeah, like I say, I'm not going to talk too much. Just enjoy the view and the bird song. Herring gulls obviously making a noise. A male blackbird. It's a black cap over there singing. Stopped as soon as a wood pigeon flushed out. Sycamores unfurling. Is that black cap? Stops as soon as I turn around towards it. There's a robin. If it wasn't for the ground movement here and the land slips. Uh, this would be a wonderful place to be. It is a wonderful place to be. A little bit concerning. Lovely and peaceful. There's the inner cliff face, which shelters this undercliff area from a uh, northerlies. So it remains uh, 
really sheltered microclimate where frosts are quite unusual. When the sun comes up, it just fills this with warmth. A couple of robins, obviously a bit of a territorial dispute going on with these two robins ahead of us. I think I might have broken them up. <laughs> There's old rookery up there. Very loud wren. There's the old uh, high hat, the chalk. Being invaded by holm oaks. Rain isn't quite getting into a full swing with its song. Lovely looking house there. There's a sea over there. There's not as much bird song now as there would have been two hours ago. I'm gonna have to set the alarm for an earlier start, I think. There's the old inner cliff. So I'm only going to go up as far as the uh, the ending of the this section of the road here, and then walk back to the car. Yeah, I managed to call it a car rather than a van. <laughs>
a bit breezy now. So, uh, yeah, lovely walk. Gonna head back the other way. Back to the car. Just walking back west now. It's a black cat. No, sorry, walking back east. So St. Lawrence Undercliff Woods owned by the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. Kind of a non-intervention woodland, largely. There's my little car. The sun is uh, maybe going to poke through. The cloud is rather high, so might thin out and burn off due to get really warm in the kind of the east of the country up to about 20 21 degrees which isn't bad for early April I'm gonna try and get a gimbal at some point when I can afford one uh, to reduce the bobbing up and down as a Robin there with a rather large earthworm. So if the sun comes out here, it should get quite warm here as well. I think one of the main interests of this woodland from a wildlife point of view is probably the bats, which I think live in the the cliff, the uh, caves in the cliffs. I think that's right. I don't think they're t tree dwelling bats. Not sure what bats they are, to be honest. Nice black cat song. See the old uh, inner cliff face there quite nicely. So these uh, cliffs are full of cavities and caves and that's where the bats hang out, I think. Some species of bats live in trees, some live in caves. I think some vary depending on what the purpose is at the time of year. There's maternity roosts and breeding cavities and... Um, Kind of overwintering type cavities they live in. So they live in different sorts of holes and crevices through the year, depending on what stage they're at. Been quite a cliff fall over there. See all the debris down, come down into the reserve. That's a perfectly natural, good thing from a wildlife point of view, these kind of disturbances. So it certainly isn't damaging from, from a wildlife point of view. Kind of opens up the ground and ecological succession starts again. So to our eyes it looks a bit damaging, but it certainly isn't from a wildlife point of view. Small scale falls like that, or even the bigger ones aren't about aren't really bad news from a wildlife point of view. 
But they are for people if we built our houses on Europe's largest rotational landslip, <laughs> which is what this is. So the Victorians started to grow the kind of towns and villages in the undercliff. And they've grown, I don't think they're really growing now because there's run out of space really, but the, those towns and villages kind of grew on to and across Europe's largest area of uh, debris from a massive landslip. And that landslip has continued to move. And uh, that's not going to end. Right. I'm going to head back to the car, I think. So hopefully you enjoyed the walk along this section of Undercliff Drive. I certainly always do when I come along here. Please subscribe to the channel. We are on... Hold on, let me check. So yeah, we're on 990 subscribers now. So very close, 10 off from the 1,000 subscriber mark. It should be a very good milestone. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you want to continue to see this kind of videos about the undercliff of the Isle of Wight and living in a car, living in a van, um, and location independence, that kind of stuff, do please subscribe so we can get up to 1,000. Nice little periwinkle there. Garden escapee. Yeah, if you're a gardener, try not to put any vegetation from the garden in these kind of verges because uh, you then end up getting non-native garden plants spreading into these nature reserves, which is not a good thing. I mean... Periwinkle's in there now and it's a lovely little plant, but it's not native. It's better to keep these little nature reserves full of native wildflowers rather than garden escapees. It's nice uh, you there. Taxa Bacata, is that the Latin name? Oh, I don't know. Chiff Chaff singing. Right, I'm going to head into town now and get a coffee, I think. 